Welcome. This video is part of our free course, How to Create a Platform Like Shopify, Using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll create a multi-site network with a beautiful homepage, a pricing page to sell memberships, and a custom login page. Also, you'll create a customized admin dashboard on the front end, with no coding needed. Follow the link in the description to take the course. In the last video, we set up the WordPress users in the store and site settings on the front end. Here, we'll set up the pages, themes, and nav menus on the front end. Let's start by opening the site where we're creating our dashboard. Now, let's create a new page. We'll first set up the pages section on the front end. Enter the WP front end admin shortcode, containing the pages section URL between the quotations. Now open the page on the front end. Once here, select the page title, the URL slug, the default template, and the dashboard menu. You can hide any unnecessary elements with one click. Disable columns from the pages list. Select the plans for which this page will be available. The users can see their own pages, or pages created by all users of the same site. Now save the changes. You can edit the create page form. You can hide any section on the edit page form. For example, the author section, the URL slug section, and the custom fields section. You decide which sections you want to hide here. Finally, just save the changes. Let's display the WordPress theme section on the front end. Just create a new page. Now, enter the WP front end admin shortcode, containing the WordPress themes URL between the quotations. Now click preview. This page is really clean, you may not need to hide any element. Just select the page title. The URL slug. The default template and the dashboard menu. You can limit this feature and make it available for specific membership plans only. If you don't mark any plan, the page will be available for all plans. Finally, just save the changes on the themes page. We'll display the customizer on the front end so users edit their site's appearance without problems. Create a page and enter the WP front end admin shortcode with the customizer URL between the quotations. Now open the page on the front end. Select the page basic information like title, the URL slug, template, and menu. You can hide any sections of the customizer with just some clicks. For example, the upgrade messages, and any other element you want to hide. Select the membership plans for which this page will be available, or leave them unmarked, so this page is available for all plans. Finally, save the changes. We'll display the WordPress nav menus on the front end. Create a page, and enter the WP front end admin shortcode. Make sure the nav menus URL is between the quotations. Now open the page on the front end. Here you can select the URL slug, the default template, and the dashboard menu. You can hide any unnecessary elements like the live editor, and any other option you want to hide. Select the plans that will have access to this page, and save the changes. Here's how our pages will look once the dashboard is finished. The next video will be about how to set up the WordPress profile page on the front-end dashboard.